You may have heard me say, take what the lake gives you. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't target certain fish. I certainly went to Lake Pueblo planning on catching carp. But if you get to the lake and see bass chasing shad, you should at least be prepared to switch gears, like I did last Saturday. And it happened again this Tuesday. After seeing so many carp showing in the big shallow cove and after so many hook pulls and only landing a few, I was determined to figure out a way to catch those carp over the thick mat of dying weeds. I designed a chod rig that allowed me to fish my boilies and dough balls on top of the weeds while still making use of a spring feeder. I thought it was brilliant and I couldn't wait to try it out. But as soon as I pulled up next to the lake, I could see the swash of hungry bass and the panic of fleeing shad. So again, I decided to focus on bass in the morning and carp in the afternoon. And again, I caught lots of bass. But again, I had several hook pulls and only landed a few carp. The chod rigs didn't work any better than the regular hair rigs and I don't know why. But getting back to taking what the lake gives you, at least I was prepared to fish for bass. I had an ultralight for crappie and bluegill, a fly rod if anything was hatching, crankbaits and spoons for wipers. Any kind of fish that had the nerve to show itself that day, I had something to throw at it. People laugh at how much junk I bring to the lake, but if I had just brought carp gear, I would have missed out on all that action. Of course, most of that gear never left the car, but if I needed anything, I had it. It's okay to have a favorite species to target, but don't get so fixated that you don't notice or don't prepare for other fish that show up. Now the tip of the day is, bass live under docks, not way under, but right under your feet if you're standing at the edge of the dock, just waiting for some unsuspecting smaller fish to swim by. I know this because on several occasions, after catching a small sunfish or shiner off of a dock, I've had bass dart out and attempt to swallow the fish on my line. But right now the shad are in thick, and bass are fattening themselves up for the winter. So take what the lake gives you, and good luck out there.